wildfires still raging in Victoria. The worst wildfires in history. Let me repeat that. The worst wildfires in history are still raging in the state of Victoria, triggered by an intense heat wave. See, that's what triggered it. It's all well and good saying there's arsonists running around with matches, but if the wood was damp, the fire wouldn't burn. Now, wildfires are common in Australia, but the current situation is being enhanced by a phenomenon known as Dr. Manhattan. No, actually. No, a phenomenon known as the Indian Ocean Dipole. That's spelled D-I-P-O-L-E. The acronym is IOD. The IOD, or Indian Ocean Dipole, results in warming and cooling of sea temperatures that dictates how much rain will fall in Australia. Now, this phenomenon, the IOD, is directly being influenced by yours truly, Dr. Manhattan, also known as Mr. S.A.P., Captain Equinox, I kid you not. Okay, folks, lots seem to think I'm full of fire. Uh, look, what does it say? Roger Gracie, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Academy. See, the Gracie family. Best Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu family in the world. Yeah? Where do they come to set up their Jiu-Jitsu school? Around the corner from me. The world's number one Tai Chi master. I told you that, I ain't playing. Watch this space, storm night tonight in Britain. Known as jellyfish Tai Chi. Let's go, let's do this. Here, but the conditions in the southeast are unprecedented. There's been yeah. almost no rainfall this year, and after weeks of heat wave, the temperature peaked at a record 46.4 degrees Celsius. That's 115.5 yeah, Fahrenheit. Yeah, you know why, folks? Creating a vast tinderbox ready to ignite. You got one of the reasons around with for me. the extreme weather may be traced thousands of miles away to the Indian Ocean. Research suggests prolonged lower surface sea yep. temperatures mean less water for evaporation, uh -huh. encouraging warmer, drier winds and drought yep. across southeast Australia. By contrast, 1,500 miles north, Flood. parts of subtropical Queensland are continuing to be hit by severe flooding. Heavy rainfall has caused rivers to burst their banks. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look at a satellite image over southeast Australia, you can okay. see huge plumes of smoke spreading over Victoria, being driven by fierce winds. being impossible to counter flames that at times have been four stories high and moving at 40 miles an hour, with sudden changes in wind direction catching many out. The fire was spread by eucalyptus trees, which contain highly flammable resin. In many cases, they're too close to buildings, and you can see the results. Many people fled their homes at the last minute and ended up in the worst possible place, in the open. What a horrible way to die, folks. Scientists say it's too early to know what role climate change may be playing here, but the predictions are of more extreme yeah. weather in future. And what role is that Gilgamesh, Q, the winged serpent, that mythical semi, what is it, semi-real figure, anyway. Uh, words fail me, folks. You know what I'm talking about. Captain Equinox, yeah? And if anyone puts me under pressure, the planet will react. And I have to keep sounding like a stuck record. And eventually, some of you out there will listen, and you'll start to hunt down the puppet masters who have been given this lot in this bar instructions to harass me. Why? Well, you can figure it out, folks. Mm, military intelligence gives orders to people to harass him so that there'll be floods, storms, earthquakes. Hmm, why would military intelligence smart asses be doing that if they know hassling him causes freak occurrences, which leads to lots of people dying? Hmm, maybe military intelligence want to kill people. Hmm, that never occurred to me before. Why would they want to do that? I don't think, I don't suppose it's got anything to do with um, increasing their holdings and Malthusian economics, you know, supply, demand, finite resources, According to them, too many people on the planet. If 
folks, I hate all this. I was bawling my eyes out since 1988, thinking, oh, my God, this is going to be this, but there's these people and this and this and that. And I bent over backwards to try and make people aware of what is going on. And all I've got from this borough and their bosses is harassment, harassment, torture, psychological torture, which actually leads to me to physical pain. Still, I'm whining like an idiot. There's no more whining now. All it is is retribution. Changing the snow. We think it'll be heaviest in this area, East Wales and West Midlands, through Somerset, down towards Dartmoor. Five to ten centimetres. Two Look to four at that. Inches, maybe more over higher ground. You see some like snow to the east of that. Not hammer. have much here. And Look at the wind. It starts to lose its intensity as the night goes on, changing more to sleet and rain. And I mentioned the wind here, really starting to yeah, pick up. Yeah, it curves well. right around London, right around my home there. Drifting some of the snow where we have that, and adding a significant wind.